Serial lines have been used for long distance communications for many years. But today, module to module and chip to chip communication using serial interfaces is commonplace. Standard interfaces like I2C, SPI, OneWire and USB are widely implemented on microprocessors, FPGAs, analog to digital and digital to analog converters, sensors and memory devices. New serial standards are emerging all the time, each one optimized for specific operating conditions and differing design complexity, different speeds, power consumption, fault tolerance and, of course, cost. Debug and validation of serial communications are a fundamental yet time-consuming part of the development process. Observation of the data flowing on the bus is the first step to verify correct operation of a design or identification of errors. Automatic decoding and analysis tools are an essential part of the electronic engineer's weaponry. Picoscope has built-in decoders for many of today's serial protocol standards. In this example, we'll select the SPI decoder to look at the master out and slave out data that is being transmitted on these waveforms. With the SPI decoder selected, we need to define which channels are connected to the master out data line, the clock and the chip select. Tick the display packets in graph box to see the serial data aligned with the source waveforms. With the decoder active, we can observe master out slave in data presented in a bus style graphic aligned with the source waveform. We can add a second decoder to observe master in slave out data using the same clock and chip select lines. Now we can see the data flowing in both directions between the master and the slave. The benefit of observing data flow in this way lies in the ability to correlate transmitted data with the source waveform. If we spot a data error, it is easy to look at the corresponding waveform and check for signal integrity problems. As well as showing serial data in the graph display, Picoscope can also display serial messages in a tabular format, including statistics that are useful for calculation of safe operating margins of time and voltage. The tabular view helps when working with long data sequences consisting of hundreds or even thousands of messages. Filters can be applied to display only the specific messages of interest and you can search for messages with specified properties. Double clicking on a message in the table view takes you straight to that same message in the graph display. On the latest version of Picoscope, the decoders use color coding to identify different field types in complex messages. In this example, the frame ID field is orange, RTR is green, DLC is blue, and the color coding helps an engineer to interpret the displayed data and focus on just the data type that is of interest.